Give you a, a, a warm welcome to Julie, please. <laughs> Kids are very close to you. Uh, yeah, I just saw the kids in the sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. nearly out. It's nearly, I'm, um, I'm going to speak about the women in prison. Um, I met women prisoners and spoke to them. This was quite a few years ago. And what they said to me left me in tears. So from then on, from that moment, I've met many MSPs many councillors and every time I bring up what they said and I'll, I'll, I, I think a society that we're living in that thinks it's okay to house violent rapists and murderers, men with vulnerable women, over 88% of the women in prison are in for non-violent crimes. They have a lifetime, suffered a lifetime of abuse. They're vulnerable women. They're in there mainly for drug offences that have um, they've used drugs, prostitution to hide, to, to just try and live because of the damage that was done to them as children growing up. They're damaged women who need support and help and rehabilitation. Rehabilitation while they're housed with violent rapists and men is impossible. One, one, one of the women prisoners told me it was actually a relief to get sent to prison to get away from the men in her life who were, who were abusing her, that she could go to prison and it would be a man-free environment. Well, it's not that any longer. The women that I spoke to shared the cell, uh, shared, were locked up with Peter Lang. Peter Lang is an extremely violent man, a lifer, now called Paris Green. Um, and this man really was intimidating, sexually as well as physically, towards these women prisoners. And it was awful, awful for them to be in that environment. No chance of rehabilitation in that respect. Absolutely none. What was the point? If they called Peter Lang a he, they get put on report. They get disciplined. And some of the disciplines were actually no visits from the children. That's what they did to women. We called a man who walked about the shower rooms with an erection in front of them. And if they complained, they get disciplined. They didn't get to see the children. And I think um, those women in prison uh, have been used as a ex social experiment. It was used in 2014 as Transgender um, uh, Trans Alliance Scotland, which are fully funded by the Scottish Government, may I add, and um, said if they can get men in women's prisons, this is just a, a small quote, they can get them anywhere. So the women in prison were never, never consulted Women's groups were not consulted at all. The only groups that were consulted about this were trans groups. No women's groups. The women were just, who cares? No, they, don't, they do not matter. And they do matter because every woman matters. Whether you're in prison or not, every woman matters. Now, I'm just going to leave it with what the last words these, what those women said to me. And um, because I asked them, how do you feel that our feminist to her finger mitts ex first minister allows this to happen, allows these violent rapists and murderers to be locked up with you? And this is what left me in tears because their exact words here Pen, we're scum. That's all we are. We're just scum. We don't matter. And at that, I walked away because I couldn't stop the tears because they do matter. And those words I spoke to every MSP that I've met face to face and I've told them the words and they're like, oh no, I know, they do matter. It's like, well, do something about it. Do something about it. Men should not be locked up with women. It's 200 years since the Jail Act and um, Elizabeth Fry campaigned for women to be housed separately for men because we have different needs. It's 200 years this year. And look at what we've done. We've just completely knocked it out of the park. Look at what's our, our politicians, female politicians who are the worst as far as I'm concerned, who should know better. All our prominent female politicians from Nicola Sturgeon to um, Maggie Chapman, Lorna Slater, Karen Adams, all these, I did an FOI with Scottish Government. You know, not one of those women have ever spoke to a women prisoner. They have never visited a female prison. So they haven't even spoken to the women prisoners. They've just 
trans women are women, and that's it. No, no, nothing else. So that's our female politicians for you. Couldn't care less about the women in prison, but hey, no, let's be progressive, why not? Anyway, I'll leave it at that before I do start swearing, because I get really emotive about this, because the vulnerable women in prison matter more than a lot. They, they really, because the way we treat our vulnerable prisoners says a hell of a lot about our society. And right now, we're living in a very, very sick society. Very sick society. Thank you.